was about 14 years old, I saw a concert at Portland State University with the PH Factor Jug Band. And uh, I kind of liked the music, so I went out after to a record store to see if I could buy some record of jug band music. And the only thing I could find was a Jim Queskin Jug Band's new record. So I took it home and played it and just loved it. I became a lifelong fan and uh, admirer of Jim Queskin and the Jug Band. A few years later in uh, 1972, I, uh, started my own jug band with Billy Holtz and Johnny Ward and John Domenigoni on Washtub Bass. We were called the Fly by Night Jazz Band and we played at the White Eagle on North Russell. The White Eagle was surrounded on three sides by a steel foundry at the time and they had a lot of pallets so we appropriated a few pallets and got some uh, plywood uh, sheets and put them on top of the pallets and that was our stage. We were working uh, on a play at the storefront theater at the time just down the block and the next block so when we'd get done with our rehearsals we'd go up to the White Eagle, uh, White Eagle, the White Eagle for a drink and the band would play and the uh, Actors and actresses would dance, and it became quite a scene after a bit. Little did I know at the time that uh, my future wife was in the audience, Carmen Vandemar. She was one of three tall, red-headed, amazing babes. Uh, the other two were jo Jody Stern, who was married to a Smitty at the time. He was the manager of the Fly By Night. And uh, Kathleen Kelly. They became known as Amazon Tomatoes. <laughs> and uh, after several other adventures, in 1979, I was playing at uh, Opening Night Cabaret, the new home of Storefront Theater, with Jamie Leopold on bass and Richard Tyler on piano and Gary Gunther. And uh, uh, Jamie called Dan up and had him come up to play a weekend of gigs in early... 1979, January or February, and he played three gigs and uh, sold the place out, so they added a couple of more, and those sold out too. And uh, the last night, Dan asked me if I'd uh, play guitar for him. So subsequently, I moved down to Mill Valley, California, where I was sleeping on Dan's couch for the first few months till I got my stuff together, found a place to live. We played in uh, London and Hawaii and just about every place in between over the next eight years, seven, eight years. And then I uh, eventually left the band, came back to uh, Portland where I reconnected with Carmen and uh, eventually we got married and stuff. Dan had dedicated uh, a song called Evening Breeze to her uh, one one night at a gig in San Francisco, and that's going to be what I play for you here. I'd like to dedicate this tune to the Amazon Tomatoes. And I'm going to try and sing both the uh, Dan's part and the Laquette's part. <laughs> this ought to be good. Dan was really good at it. Me... Not so much. Evening breeze don't seem to cool my mind. Wind don't seem to do a thing. Sing. What you sing about then? Girls, I know that evening breeze is listening, and I'm sure I make it cry. Oh, for my song is always one of sadness. Ever since she said goodbye, goodbye to you, uh huh, and you. 
you couldn't stop her, no, no, no. So she made her get away, yeah, but she'll be back. Didn't you try to stop her, no, no, no. So she made her get away. Well, I knew that she was leaving, but I let her go. And she made her get away. Richmond, who had, uh, had been uh, Jim Queskin's tub player for many years. We started a band called the Barbecue Orchestra. Eventually, uh, Fritz got cancer and passed away, and uh, that's when I met Jim for the first time. We played a memorial gig for Fritz at the uh, Waterfront Blues Festival. Dave Reich and Paul DeLay also played at Fritz's memorial gig. And then uh, there was a movie coming out in San Francisco about jug bands called Chasing Gus's Ghost. It was a movie about Gus Cannon. They had a big gig there to celebrate at the, uh, at the Great American Music Hall in San Francisco, uh, the release of the movie, this celebration, and the barbecue orchestra was invited to go down and we played down there with Jim and Jeff and Maria Muldaur. Yeah, I wound up getting to play with all my idols from my teenage years. One of the funny things about that gig at the Great American Music Hall was that uh, Dan called me up on the phone one day when he got wind of the gig and he said, Hey, hey, Turtle, can I join your band? <laughs> and... Uh, so he came and sat in with the barbecue orchestra and did Chattanooga Shoeshine Boy. It was great to see him again. He gave us a ride home in his car. Said, you guys want a little air conditioning back there? Because it was a warm night in San Francisco. And so he, he reached up to his uh, visor and there was this funky little plastic fan. <laughs> and he pushed a button and the blade started feebly whirling around. <laughs> it was just hilarious. That was his air conditioning. There's a little tune that you might not remember. This is called The Buzzard Was Their Friend. A black-headed buzzard led the others on. He couldn't get nothing by staying at home. Black headed and look slick, run right along. And where did he take them? The buzzard was their friend. Took them all down and bottom bowl of what's name? They were getting fat just to go on the bat in their bowls of air. He blew a whistle, blew it just once. And they were in the air and looking around. The wind was dust and dirty, they were getting off the dirty, but they didn't mind. With that bacon fries, I want you gone. A little bit of trouble if it did no wrong, uh huh. Look in the sky and see those buzzards, ain't they high? Black-headed ain't looking slick, flying right long. 
Bacon grease don't matter none. Let it slip, slide, and run. Mm, look in the sky, see those buzzards ain't they high? Black headed ain't looking slick, flying right along. When it fries, fry a lot. Might as well cook up all you got. Uh huh. Look in the day, see those buzzards on the way. Black headed ain't looking slick, flying right along. I want you gone a little bit of travel, never did no wrong. Uh huh. Look in the sky and see those buzzards ain't they high? Black headed ain't looking slick, flying right along. Bacon grease don't matter none, let it slip, slide and run. Mm -hmm. Look in the day, black headed ain't on the way. Black headed ain't looking slick, flying right along. Mm -hmm. Black headed ain't looking slick, flying right along. Black headed ain't looking slick, flying right along. Do you, uh, he don't care? Not yet. This is, uh, we're going to do a very early Dan Hicks song right now. One of his, uh, first, uh, first songs that he wrote is right up there with the first songs that he wrote. And then when he first wrote it, he, he, he wrote it so it was like... He don't care how the country looks. Really, really slow. And then later on, after he uh, sobered up and stuff and was looking to become more of a commercial success, <laughs> that's a good one. He recorded another version of it, and that's the one that I, I've. I am currently playing and have currently played for, oh, 20, 25 years. He don't care how the country looks. Sure. 
shows People stop, they turn around Is he wearing a smile or a frown? He's stone It's a Not taking my list out. I'm trusting uh, the jukebox here. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, oh, geez. Oh, man. That's like uh, 